Hi, this is Jenny here. Um, today, just a quick Bokashi story about bones. Um, the thing is, I've just finished uh, boiling up a stock um, and I just wanted to show it to you because it's not that often I do that. I took the, um, <laughs> this was a fantastic smoked leg of lamb from Iceland and I really enjoyed it. I'm not vegetarian nearly, but I do eat a little bit of meat still. And I did a really good stock with carrots and onions and bay leaves and, you know, the usual. A litre of fantastic stock, which I'm going to make into a soup with some of those Jerusalem uh, artichokes that I showed the, showed the other day. So it made me think about this bone. Should it go in the Bokashi bucket or should it not? Uh, it's a matter of choice. We have this discussion quite often. Personally, I will put it in my bucket. And the reason for that is that the I want to clean the bone. It won't break down in the compost. It really won't. It takes, you know, a year or two, three, I don't know how long, but I have a big garden, so it's no problem. But what will happen is that the Bokashi microbes will clean the bone and all of these last bits of meat will be stripped off and it will go through the bucket, no problem. I will dig it down in my usual way into the garden outside. And then in due course, sometime, you know, next season probably, it will turn up again and the soil will be fantastic. It will be full of worms, but there will be this old dry, brittle bone. Uh, it doesn't worry me. Some people really hate it and think it looks like a graveyard and they don't want to have it, but you know, I think it's okay. And um, what I do with those big bones is that I, uh, they're quite brittle, you know, after they've been in the soil for a while, they're very clean and very brittle and you can break them really easily. So I grab a hammer or something like that, if I have one nearby or a big rock, whatever, and I just smash that dry, brittle bone, smash it uh, into powder or into bits. And that is really, really good for the soil, bone powder. In the old days, you, you there used to be this product called blood and bone and that was came out of the, um, uh, the meat yards and, you know, um, slaughterhouses and that sort of thing. But, you know, if you have bones, uh, put them in the Bokashi if you want to. Uh, let them do their thing in the soil for a while. Rescue them up uh, at some stage. Break them down into, uh, into powder for the garden and leave it there. Or if you really can't stand it, just put them in a plastic bag and put them in the rubbish. It's also okay. Chicken bones, on the other hand, will break down uh, quite fast. So all the usual chicken bones, which you can choose to make stock or not make stock, but whatever. Put them into the Bokashi bin. Use a little bit extra Bokashi bran because that will uh, help to uh, handle the, it's very protein rich and you just want to give it a good start so it doesn't rot or cause problems. But after that, no worries. You know, just do the normal Bokashi thing. Let it follow out, dig it down into the garden and um, Bob's your uncle. Easy. Now I'm going to make a really good soup out of this and I have to decide how that will be. That's something to look forward to. See you.